What's up, everybody? It's BaseCast here, and today we are going to talk about how to merge and evolve every single skill in Survivor.io. If you want to see more Survivor.io videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm just quickly claiming my quick earnings right here. Now you guys might recognize this chart. It has been all over the place and I actually have no idea who made it. And as you see down here, there's an AK weapon with a magazine. People have been teasing this weapon a lot. Is it going to be a new weapon in the game? And honestly, I have no idea, but I've seen this image so many times. It's been around for a very long time. And if they are going to include this AK into the game, maybe they would have done it already. Do you guys want an AK-47 weapon in the game? Let's hear it in the comments below. All right, let's go over this chart. Let's go over every single skill in Survivor.io and have to merge and evolve them. I want you to keep in mind when it comes to weapon skills, you need to get the weapon skills to five stars and you need to get the compatible passive skill to one star. So once you have a five star weapon skill and a compatible passive skill, you can evolve it. First, we have the RPG and HE fuel, which will evolve into the Shark Maw gun. The Shark Maw gun will cause additional damage. And if you do have the red tech part equipped, you can make it fire double shots. And if you guys want to see what every single red tech part does in this game, I will leave a link to another video in the description of this video. Go check it out after this. Next, the force field and energy drink evolves into the force barrier. This will make it a little stronger. This will also push enemies away. The guardian and the exo bracer evolves into the defender. With the defender, your tops will spin permanently around your survivor. The lightning emitter and energy cube evolves into the supercell. The supercell will hit targets with lightning bolts that generate shockwaves that can hit additional targets and pretty much just cause a bunch of damage. Molotov plus oil bond equals fuel barrel. With the red tech part equipped, the fuel barrel will cause additional damage as well as make enemies bleed. The drill shot plus the ammo thruster equals the whistling arrow. And if you have the red tech part equipped, you will get two whistling arrows opposed to just one. Next, we have the soccer ball and sports shoes, which will evolve into the quantum ball. The quantum ball will honestly just cause a bunch of damage. It's very chaotic. And with an excellent grade tech part, you can increase its damage by 30%. Next, we have the brick and the fitness guide, which will evolve into the one ton iron. The one ton iron is insane. It's great against mobs. It can cause a lot of damage. Next, we have the boomerang and high power magnet. The boomerang and high power magnet can evolve into the magnetic rebounder. Once you have the magnetic rebounder, darts will spin around your survivor and if you have the red tech part equipped, they will be followed by little trails of electricity. The laser launcher and the energy cube will evolve into the death ray. With an excellent tech part, the death ray will slow enemies down. And if you have the red annihilator tech part, you can pretty much unleash the death ray all across the map. It's no longer going to follow you around. The durian plus HE field will get you the caltrops. And the caltrops will fly around launching spikes at the enemy. The modular mine plus the lightning emitter equals the thunderbolt bomb. This bomb will explode when enemies get near launching shockwaves at them. Next, the modular mine plus the molotov equals the inferno bomb. And the inferno bomb will explode just like the thunderbolt bomb does, but instead of having electricity, it will light the ground on fire. Now we're getting into an exclusive skill for three star catnips. You need the tech breakthrough skill to evolve this right here. Type A drone plus the medi drone equals the inquisitor. And this is just type A drone with the medi drone combined, it frees up a weapon slot. Now, this is not an exclusive hero skill, but type A drone and type B drone will equal the destroyer drone. You need both type A drone and type B drone at five stars to get the destroyer. Here's another exclusive three star catnip skill. We have type B drone plus the medi drone equals the savior drone. And just like with the inquisitor, it is just type B drone and the medi drone combined. In addition, here are more exclusive catnip skills. The inquisitor plus type B drone equals the divine destroyer. The destroyer plus the medi drone drone equals the divine destroyer. The savior plus type A drone equals the divine destroyer. And the divine destroyer is a combination of the medi drone and the destroyer drone. So it will free up every slot and you will be left with just one drone. Here's an exclusive Tsukiyomi skill. We have Moonshade Slash plus Ronin Ayori equals Moon Halo Slash. Moon Halo Slash is different than Moonshade Slash. It will hit targets in a circle around your survivor instead of just dealing frontal damage. Next, we're moving into some three star Tsukiyomi skills. We have Moon Halo Slash plus the Demon Blade equals Lunar Eternity. Lunar Eternity is insane. It will make enemies bleed as well as cause additional damage. In addition, you can also evolve Moon Halo Slash and Eternal Light into Lunar Eternity as well. But wait, there's more. Once you evolve Moon Halo Slash and the Demon Blade, you can also get Lunar Frost. And Lunar Frost might slow enemies down. You can also get Lunar Frost with Eternal Light. So if you have Tsukiyomi and the Katana or the Light Chaser and you evolve those weapons, you can get one of these skills right here. Next, we have Worms. 
six star skill sting up you can evolve the listening bug and the force field into sting up and this will force enemies to retreat we'll have to check it out when we get it now let's move on to weapons to evolve the kunai into spirit shuriken you need the koga ninja scroll and the spirit shuriken is sure great against bosses it is one of the best weapons if not the best weapon to use in ender's echo the katana and ronin oyori will evolve into the demon blade once you evolve the demon blade you will get red strikes and if you hit the enemy you can heal it's just like having a red katana next we have the bat and the fitness guide which will evolve into lucille and lucille is great against mobs and pushing through chapters next we have the shotgun and the high power bullet which you can evolve into the gatling gun and the gatling gun is pretty much like an automatic machine gun you can shoot it everywhere but you do have to manually aim it next we have the revolver and the high power bullet the revolver and the high power bullet will evolve into the reaper instead of having one gun you are going to be double fisting two guns and you know what that means more damage the light chaser and ronin oyori evolves into eternal light and eternal light can cause a lot of damage it's great with a very short cooldown as well last but not least you can evolve void power and the exo bracer into gloom nova once you do this you will get energy veils or shields alongside your black holes and you can hide inside those shields from projectiles and enemies that does it for today guys if you have any tips or questions leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching smash like and subscribe i'll see you later